Hello there, and welcome to Where the Sun Shines. This video is an overview of our experience and some tips that may help you enjoy Dollywood Summer Celebration. Wildwood Grove is Dollywood's newest expansion yet and holds our new favorite place to eat, the Till and the Harvest. Excuse me, <clears throat> Till and Harvest. It's very similar to like a Chipotle or Mexican style subway where you decide if you want a bowl, a salad, a burrito, quesadilla, nachos, and then you go down the line just listing the different things that you would like on your plate. We did eat here multiple times throughout the summer and it was very hit and miss. Sometimes it was delicious and flavorful and other times it was kind of bland and needed a lot of salt and pepper. Even though Dollywood's nestled in the Great Smoky Mountains, it does get quite toasty there and staying hydrated is very important. These souvenir cups are a great thing for your buck if you're drinking more than two beverages a day. We ordered nachos with guacamole on the side and got some salsa from the salsa bar. Theme parks in the summertime get quite toasty, even at Dollywood, so it's important to find ways to keep cool and escape the heat. Wildwood Grove has a massive splash pad and it's a great place for you and your young ones to have fun while cooling off. Hidden Hollow is also located in Wildwood Grove and it is a jumbo indoor air conditioned playground. Woo! It is a big win for everybody in the family. The Plaza is located between Fire Chaser Express and Mystery Mine, and they have rocking chairs, fans, and even in the Plaza, occasionally they'll have some shows. And right down those stairs is a bathroom and water fountain. Dollywood really does want you to make every moment count, and for you to be comfortable, this alley of misting fans is located right next to Fire Chaser Express, along with this firehouse fun yard, which is another little splash pad area for you and your youngins to cool off. Catching one of Dollywood's indoor shows gets you out of the heat and those rainstorms that can shut down rides from time to time. The latter is what made us catch this summer feel show, which is a medley of popular hits of which I knew too. Every single love tells me I will never measure This creek runs through Dollywood and there are ducks everywhere. We even saw a baby and I'm gonna say it again. It's so cute! Uh -huh. Land 
drive-in and it was such a wonderful throwback show. It was marvelous with all the, sli the slinging and the dancing. Oh my! Everyone was so talented. It was very enjoyable. I got to see it with my parent-in-laws and they enjoyed it too. It went from the 50s to the 70s. They actually said it was rated the third best show in all the theme parks in the country. If you're able to go see Dreamland Drive-In at Dollywood, I highly suggest to give it two thumbs up. We got a Fruity Pebble Funnel Cake. We've wanted to get this thing for months and finally decided to dig in. I'm excited to try the Black Forest one with cherries and chocolate drizzle and whipped cream, but the Fruity Pebble one was tasty. We were covered with powdered sugar and it was amazing. And it's not a good funnel cake until you leave covered with powdered sugar looking like an extra from the movie Scarface. They also have a Fruity Pebble milkshake, which is Fruity Pebbles and ice cream, and it's super delicious and refreshing. The thing with the funnel cake that I wish I would have thought of is that it's hot. So we were sitting in the sun on a hot day with hot funnel cake. So funnel cakes are definitely amazing any time of year, but I think with this knowledge, next time I get a funnel cake will be towards the cooler months. So it'll be nice and toasty and warm me up and focus on those cool, refreshing treats during the summertime. Every single visit to Dollywood Summer Celebration, we would head straight to Wildwood Grove as soon as the sun began to set. This land is neat during daylight hours, but it's at night when the grove really begins to shine. I am all about fun and whimsical theming, and most of the rides in the grove illuminate with brightly colored lights. And to top it off, you get to ride these rides while watching the sunset over the mountains, which is a thing that bucket lists are made of. Speaking of bucket lists, these bubble wanted babies are on my purchase list for next year. Should I get the T-Rex, the unicorn, or the panda? And the piece de resistance of the whole grove is the wildwood tree. Dolly herself reads two separate stories that rotate throughout the evening.
evening begins. Fireflies and frogs, elk and owls, butterflies and bears, all of the mountain creatures come in under the wildwood tree, creating a one of a kind. sunshine and storms with the wind that makes the branches creak and bend. to see the fireworks so hopefully we got a good spot right next to the tree I don't know if they go off like over here in front of me or like more to the right but I'll let you know if the spot that we're at is amazing or if we need to relocate to get prime real estate for these fireworks
Dollywood's summer celebration was incredible. We're both really big fans of fireworks, so we really enjoyed it. However, with the summer sun not setting till super late, there wasn't much time to experience rides in the dark, so I am very much looking forward to Dollywood's Harvest Festival. Thank you so much for joining us on this adventure, and if you'd be so kind as to share the love, and until next time, we hope you stay where the sun shines.